What's up everybody, OT for Tech here and today I just want to touch base on that home button problem that I mentioned before in my previous video. Now I said that it was software issues but the thing is it's not. I'm going to show you in this video how you can actually remove the home button lag and not only remove it but I'm going to put an OT for Tech spin on it and I'm actually going to show you how to make the home button responsiveness faster. So let's go ahead and do the first option just to remove the lag in general, not speeding it up, but just removing the lag. So you're going to go into your settings and then you're going to scroll down to buttons. And if you have the on-screen buttons, you know, turned on, you want to turn those off and then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says double tap action. Click on that, click on no action, and then you should notice the responsiveness is faster. So as I'm just doing a quick demonstration, you can see the home button is much, much faster, but the on-screen buttons aren't on. So if you go back and then you go down to buttons again, you can turn on the on-screen buttons and they work just as well. And it's just as fast and just as responsive. So that pretty much gets rid of the lag for the most part, but you can even make this faster. And this is by going in back into settings, scrolling down to about phone. Then you're going to want to scroll down to build number and just tap it until it says that you have developer settings enabled. So you're going to go back to your menu, go down to developer options, click on that, scroll down to transition times. And you can see I've already done it, but your window animation scale, your transition animation scale, and your animator duration scale, you want to set to 0.5. And if you really want to be risky, you can just turn them off altogether. But I'm going to stick with 0.5. So go to the 0.5, check all those. Now go back to the main screen on your settings. Go to performance. Click OK. And then under profile, you're going to want to go from balanced to performance. Now, let me warn you, by clicking on performance, it's going to drain your battery much, much quicker than it would under balance or power saver. So beware of that. If you want the most out of your phone, click performance. Now you will notice it is much, much faster. And I'll do a quick side by side between the two so you can see how much faster it really is. But it's amazing the speed of the on-screen buttons now. It's almost like a Nexus experience. So if you take a look here, you can see on the far left, you have the double tap on. On the middle, you have the double tap off. And on the right, you have the double tap off plus in the developer settings, the transition speed sped up as well as the performance profile. And you can see the one on the far right is significantly faster than leaving the double tap on. And it's slightly faster than turning off the double tap alone. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, follow me on all my social media networks. There'll be more videos to come and coverage on the OnePlus One. And of course, as always, guys, thank you for your support and thank you for watching.